And happy new year. Yeah, happy new year. Happy new year.、Yep. Uh, you know what? I think the last time we did this, Rachel, I think it, I was kind of like a little loopy because this, the, the <laughs> setting was different, the、yes. background was different. But it's like, you know, going right into another, another season. So、right. I think I'm square now. I think I am too. Or I'm good. I'm not square, but I'm good. Yeah, I, I'm a little <laughs> loopy too because I'm doing kind of like the directing, if, we, if you will. We're using a,、um, a platform called StreamYard. Yes. And so we,、yes. we flip back and forth through the cameras here. But, you know,、mm-hmm. I think, you know, that's what makes it entertaining, right? It does. So it、um, does. If, if I happen to mess up, it's just because, you know, I'm doing a lot of, doing a lot of、right. things here. Well, you did great. And like directing. You did great last time. So, <laughs>、oh, thank you know, you. You did too. I, I always could get a little confused because we've got so many different camera settings that、yeah. you can, that, that's a lot of the stuff that you'll be doing. And、uh, sometimes I get a little confused of where I'm supposed to be looking, but I think,、yes. we're, I think we're good. <laughs> yes. And for you radio listeners, you're like, what are they talking about?、Um, well, we are、uh, Rachel Mange and Jamie Daniel with、yes. the Coroner Cafe,、yes. and we do video. So、um, go、mm-hmm. to our website, coronercaferadio.com,、yes. and then you can watch all our videos. So,、um, you know, nowadays it's, you know, the multitasking of, well, you know, having a radio show, but also.、Yeah. You know, people want to see videos. And、yeah. so we have a YouTube channel and a Rumble channel,、mm-hmm. um, and also our Facebook page and our Instagram as well. And you can find all those links on、yes. our website, cornercaferadio.com. But let me introduce myself, KLTT listeners, because、um, I am the operations manager of KLTT. And we are thrilled that、um, yes. our show, Corner Cafe, is now on KLTT.、Mm-hmm. Um, and it comes to you every Saturday at 5 p.m. And we are excited. So very excited. Well, I'm very excited for you. I mean, just new things.、Uh, Great responsibility, as you're a very responsible person. So that well, shouldn't be a problem well, thank for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.、Mm-hmm. And so、um, we also are on、um, KLDC. So our, KLT,、mm-hmm. our KLDC listeners,、um, you know, you listen to us every Saturday at 12 p.m. or 8 p.m. And we re air on KLDC on Tuesdays as well. So right, right.、Um, lots of ways to tune in and、um, just looking forward to this new year. So, Jamie,、yeah. what are some of your new year resolutions? Oh, gosh.、Uh, I think I got a lot of them. I've got some studio stuff I need, I want to get done. I got to clean out some, some space for that. And oh my gosh, there's paperwork here, paperwork there.、Um, just a lot of stuff.、Uh, you know, Solange and I, we actually wrote some stuff, a lot of stuff down, and we keep it in the forefront of us so we can always remind us this is the list that we have to complete. Because a lot of times,、uh, I think even scripture talks about how, you know, write it on the,、uh, the tablet of your heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, or keep it in front of you so you could always、right. see it. Because a lot of times, if you don't see it, then you tend to forget about it. You know? Yeah, you got to、yeah. have it in front of you. It does help. Yeah, it, does. it does help to daily、mm-hmm. you know, have lists and stuff. I, that helps me as well. Well, I guess、yeah. the only thing that doesn't really, really matter is like his laundry, because if it smells, <laughs> Yeah, you don't need, <laughs> you don't need a、list. reminder for that.、Well, somebody needs to do that. Well, well that's true. You can <laughs> right, right. Exactly.、Um, but yeah,、mm-hmm. this new year, 2024,、mm-hmm. it's you know, hard to even say. I'm still、yeah. writing at work like 23, at the beginning in the habit、mm-hmm. of the 24.、Um, <laughs> you know, I think what's really key this year is just like every year to,、yeah. to be in the Word.、Mm-hmm. Um, and I, of course, once again, have. A goal to read the Bible all the、yeah. way through. Who, I mean, raise、yeah. up hands, right, listeners? Who has a goal to read the Bible all the way through? Like a lot of us, right? I、so. didn't raise my hand because <laughs> Jamie's like, not me. <laughs> I can't put myself under that kind of pressure. <laughs> Actually, I, <laughs> when, I was in Bible, <laughs> when I was in Bible college, I read through the Bible quite a few times. Yeah.、Uh, but、um, I think with me, I, I, I think I like to pick. Uh, and, and you listeners can do this, and watchers as well can do the same thing if it you know,、uh, you know, agrees with your spirit. Of as God, what is God is calling you to do is、um, I pick a certain、uh, book, like the book of Psalms or、yeah. you know, Proverbs <clears throat> or, you know, or, or the, the Gospels.、Yeah. And then I'll go through them consistently. I'll finish it, go back through it again, finish it, go back through it again until、yeah. the entire year ends. Yeah, that's you know? great. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, That's a good point, though.、Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I do a show、um, live Monday through Friday, well, actually, Monday through Thursday,、um, called The Freedom.、Yeah. And、um, uh, Barbara and her daughter are lovely. And Kimberly mentioned just the other day、um, that, as well, she doesn't like、mm-hmm. the pressure of the resolutions because then she、yeah. feels guilty if she doesn't do、yeah. them. So, and I agree with that. You know,、mm-hmm. resolutions shouldn't be like, I'm joining the army and I'm going to be、mm-hmm. all beat myself up. You know, I like resolutions of more laid back, like,、right. hey, you know, yes. 
I have a goal to do this. And right. I do like the newness of the new year right, and right. like kind of uh, taking a look at our lives and deciding, yeah. hey, you know, what didn't I do last year? I'd like to do this year in a right. way that has a lot of grace, of course, because otherwise you're just going to be a bad boss to yourself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody well, wants I that. Guess, and I guess the other thing for me is uh, when you kind of put that kind of pressure on yourself, yeah. now you're just getting through to just to kind of read through and you know did you did you gain anything out of it did the right. whole, was the, the holy spirit able to speak to you that's you true because it's more yeah. like a task and, exactly. and then you think what exactly. did i just read i don't know but yeah. i i finished the task of the reading right. chapter three right. of, Hose you know? of jose or whatever exactly yeah. and, and that's and that's an accomplishment yeah however i guess the main goal is to make sure that you feed your spirit right yeah exactly yeah. and actually learn yeah so yeah. all good points here um mm -hmm. so Kind of just talking about um, KLTT. Mm -hmm. uh, so the listeners to Corner Cafe for years now, Jamie and I yeah. um, have really cherished doing Corner Cafe. Amen. And then a big thing in my life um, at mm -hmm. the end of last year was being hired as operations manager for Again? KLTT. So I, I love applause, it. Applause, applause. Um, love the people I work with. Just give a shout out to Mike Treem. Yeah. I tell people all the time, he's the best boss I've ever had, which yeah. is completely true he cares about all his employees he does. genuinely mm -hmm. and he wants to see everyone succeed and yeah. he's been um, a supporter of corner cafe through the years Absolutely. and we're so thankful for that so now we have the opportunity to be on KLTT again mm -hmm. and just looking forward to it. and Ooh, we've gone yeah. to, to a half hour show too yes so yes you know the saying is you know not always is um more sometimes more is less yes right yes. and we decided mm -hmm. that the half hour just would be better for our listeners yes. everybody's so busy it's I there's know. so much content out there i don't know how we do it you know what and just piggybacking off what you said rachel in regards to mike mike is such a laid-back person mm -hmm. he's so quiet but i'm telling you one of the things i love about mike he's such a people person yes you know uh he is he when he gets his his eyes and his heart set on you he'll bless you Right. You know, just with his presence, conversation, he's a great listener. Yes. You know, well, I feel like I'm to be running, a leader. I feel like I'm running for president or something here. <laughs> Maybe but, you uh, should be a the VP of a, a KLTT management. Be my, <laughs> my secretary or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be his uh, coffee or water boy or something. <laughs> but thank you, Mike. You're awesome. Yes. Really, certainly a pre love and appreciate you. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And um, so, as operations manager, I get asked, "What does that mean? What do you yeah, do?" Yeah. What does so, all that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? What does that entail? Yeah, to make it real simple. It's just, you know, taking care of our programmers and all the great programming. She's we have getting on. everybody coffee and water like I was. No, <laughs> <All right. laughs> no it's, like, it's a lot more I than that. water to the programmers. But no, it's that, a lot more than that. That is a part of the show, the live, yeah. the live shows to make sure, you know, and then producing yeah. a live show just to make our guests comfortable. Um, but then just, you know, getting all the shows prepped. Uh, yeah. We have all this great programming, mm -hmm. making sure the right show airs, making sure that the hour is mm -hmm. filled um, correctly and it's not yeah, going yeah. over or under. Yeah. And then just making sure to, um, you know, how to grow the brand of KLTT. Yeah. How can we serve the listeners better? We did this thing called um, the Christmas Critter Campaign. Oh, cool. And our KLTT listeners just giving another shout out. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You really blessed us. So um, we partner with GFA World every year around mm -hmm. Christmas. And GFA World, they give critters to people in Africa and Asia. I was reading about that. Yes. Yeah. And we just had a really fun time and we um, over exceeded our fundraising wow, goal. So awesome. thank you, KLTT listeners. I mean, yeah. no, we have loyal listeners, but what's really cool. Well, you know, I hadn't really heard about GFA world yeah. prior to being the office manager. Mm -hmm. And I love the whole idea of getting cr critters to people yeah. in Asia and Africa, actually giving a practical thing, mm -hmm. you know, to give a, a water buffalo to Jamie right. Daniel might not yeah. work so well yeah, here, it may not work so well. <laughs> but there, <laughs> you know, it could really help them with, you know, with pigs, with chickens, yeah. water buffaloes, goats. Yeah. Um, they start businesses because, oh, you know, wow. a chicken will, two chickens together, you know, yeah, and yeah. then producing eggs or, yeah. you know, more chickens. And then you have um, water buffalo that helps them as well yeah. with plowing the gifts and that stuff keep like on that. giving <laughs> exactly the <gift. laughs> yeah. and they're cute little critters so mm -hmm. um but the foundation um with giving these critters is to open uh the door to the gospel yeah um and what a practical way because you know mm -hmm. a lot of times we can share the gospel but it's like okay you know maybe someone won't really receive it unless you right. do something for them that shows Oh, that, that's really kind. Yeah. You know, you just gave me an opportunity to bless our community mm -hmm. and to bless um, our, my family and Absolutely. make a living and do yeah. a business. They mm -hmm. also give um, uh, water filters as well as a Jesus yes, well yes, and a sewing machine and winter clothing. So yeah. a lot of other things too, but necessities um, that people yeah. that sometimes I, 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 I guess I should say as Americans may take for granted, for granted for sure. others are is true tremendous blessing to them yeah. so yes i yeah that's awesome Rachel. yeah so mm -hmm. just once again thank you kltt listeners mm -hmm. for um 
helping us be successful with the, yeah. the critter campaign and there'll be more fundraising um things in the future as well Well, there better be as yeah as successful sure. as that was <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but um yeah that was just a joy and that yeah that's part of um my new experience as ops mm -hmm. manager doing stuff like that um we have great programs yes um, amazing programs one of mine yeah. and i highly encourage everybody and i'll give you mm -hmm. the book jamie i have classic christianity yes, i like it um mm -hmm. so in college i was a loyal kltt listeners um college and after college wow you go way back i do wow. and long before i ever thought you know yeah. i've always kind of been an am radio junkie mm -hmm. love um the the talk shows i have and all that yeah mostly sports but i do other yeah. talk shows <laughs> the do. sports is like <laughs> so boring to me i'll just be honest <laughs> <I know. laughs> i've never gotten you, into sports right when she's that okay i try <laughs> to get into sports you know when mm -hmm. you're younger i was cheerleader in uh, yeah. middle school and get into football and stuff it's just mm -hmm. You just really? want to exercise. You didn't care. Yeah, exactly. It's like, who's winning? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she would have cheered for badminton if she had to. <laughs> yeah. In middle school, I did a little cheerleading. And then, mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So, you know, with Classic Christianity, my favorite mm -hmm. show, I just encourage you guys to tune in. It's Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. But we have other great programs. We have Turning Point. Yeah. Um, we also have... Um, uh, good political commentary as yes. well. Um, Bob Duco yeah. um, does great political. I love, you know what? In the bottom Speaking line. of Bob Duco, I yes. love hearing his little excerpts uh, yeah. on the radio. Yes. And I was like, I get upset when I, when I just miss it, I turn on the yeah. radio and I just miss it because they're such great nuggets of wisdom of information. And yeah. I love that about yes. Bob Duco. Absolutely. I'll send that. it to you. Via, yeah. Via yeah, yeah. Please, please. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I Another He's great. check off list with my duties at KLTT. So right. Jamie, the Bob Duco commentary. Right. <laughs> I love it. It's really yeah. good. No, but you, mm -hmm. we do learn a lot. And, you know, um, just giving a, a shout out to Crawford Media Group in mm -hmm. general, yeah. um, you know, serving God and country. So the mm. vision is to yeah. be thankful for our country. Yes. And also to serve God because, you know, not a lot of nations. Yeah. Um, in history are around the world right now mm -hmm. um have experienced the prosperity we experienced and yeah. we're able to get out the gospel we realize that the united states of america is special yeah. um we want to want to you know bible prophecy of course yeah. things are going to happen we we can't stop that we don't want to stop it we want no, jesus no, to come yeah. back yes yes lord please. come hither thee jesus <laughs> <laughs> yes. amen but you know just being faithful to be faithful yes. to this gift of the united states that he's given amen. us and I've been, you know, I don't know about you, Jamie, but in mm -hmm. the new year, one of my resolutions, no pressure though, I'm not going to get mad at myself <laughs> if I forget, but I want to pray more for our country, oh, pray more, yeah. more for our leaders. Absolutely. Um, I think it's really important. No, you know, Rachel, that that is so significant because I believe everyone should have an extensive prayer life. If you prayed X amount of time last year, uh, try to add a little bit more to that yeah. uh, if you, if, or even double it if you can, or yeah. finding time to pray. And, you're uh, and great I, I at praying, agree. Jamie. I try. So do you? I try. How does mm -hmm. that work? So you're like every morning at this time, every night. I mean, now you're married. Yeah. yeah. So how are you balancing all well, that? Well, you know, that's a very good question, Rachel. I'm glad you mentioned that because, um, you know, because I don't want to be in there praying and, you know, as long as they're sleeping or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, and then I'm laying hands on the bed and, <laughs> you know, but uh, <laughs> so uh, my prayer time has never changed in the sense where I always do it early in the morning. I get up a little bit earlier if I have to get up another 15 to 20 minutes earlier. And then I get into the sanctuary and I go in there and pray. And yeah. that has never changed. I've been doing that for years. And the benefit also is that um, because I work at a church is yeah. that on my lunch time, I can go and uh, pray on my lunchtime if need be. Yeah, uh, that's so, great. Yeah. so there are a lot of different opportunities to pray. Yeah. You know. Um, and then so you can find what is best for you. Uh, I, I like to do early in the morning because I'm fresher. Yeah. And because um, by the time I get out of the office, I'm a little tired. Yeah. You know, and I might be like, Father, thank you. Amen. You know, and I'm done. Yeah. So I got, I, I'm saying God is a little bit more than that. So I, I'm not a morning person. So yeah. Well, I'm, morning I'm a morning person. never been yeah. a good time for me because I mm -hmm. can get a little. You know, there's that saying, you know, get hangry when you're tired yeah, and yeah, hungry yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Well, I can get a little, uh, I don't know what the word would be to have to make Pray it. Prangry. Prangry, I guess. It's like, I need some more sleep. <laughs> you know, so, mm -hmm. but 
I do drink, you know, yerba mate, which has yeah. caffeine in the morning, but I just mm -hmm. really need my time. Still to... not enough of a jolt, though, huh? No, not. <laughs> I, I need a moment. I need a right, moment to right. wake up, kind of watch the news, mm -hmm. and then I get yeah. in a better mood after lots of caffeine. Well, so. here's another uh, thing that I do also is that uh, sometimes if I feel like I'm going to miss my prayer time from where I live, from in Castle Rock to the next destination, which is in Lone Tree, I pray that entire time. And it's yeah. about a roughly a 15 minute um, uh, prayer time. Yeah. And if I do that on the way back home, I pray 30 minutes that day. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but as you continue to, I, I believe this, if as you continue to pray, the hunger for prayer continues to grow stronger. Yeah. I truly believe that. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you guys heard that little ding, um, see, that's my, uh, my my text. I got a text. And that's, so her, that's, that's her the, prayer time telling her she needs to pray. <laughs> Ding, you need to pray. Need to so, pray. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that's the fun of kind mm -hmm. of doing this live. Yeah. If you will, you know, we're going to have some hiccups, yeah. you know, but you know, I kind of struggle with wanting things to just be perfect. And, yeah. you know, that's not life. Well, and it's not really I, I took enjoyable. It as a, I took it as a ding. Somebody had a great idea, <laughs> you know, so I just went with and it. And I'm reading the text. <laughs> I think it was one of my clients. And I'm like, oh, yeah, tasks to do. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I just, I just love that um, the opportunity for us to yeah. be here at the Corner Cafe and just mm -hmm. to talk life. So in the new year, um, having a half hour show, we're going to bring um, more topical discussions, yeah. uh, important topical discussions to everyday life, but Absolutely. to also mm -hmm. the United States of America and mm -hmm. also to um, our faith yeah. in yeah, Christ. Absolutely. So we're looking forward to that. We're going to have um, people on rather soon here, like Priscilla Ron, yeah. who's running for um, political office. Going to ask her, mm -hmm. why Why is Christian, do you want to run for political right. office? And she's right. amazing. She's perfect she's awesome. for it. She's so incredible. We're just looking forward to those kind mm -hmm. of discussions. And Jamie, you've been a part of Camp Corner Cafe for, uh, gosh, Ooh. maybe seven years now? Uh, yeah, six, seven years now. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and mm -hmm. so what, you know, as you grown with us mm -hmm. and uh, you're definitely part of the family. What have you really gleaned from just hosting the show? You know what? I have learned um, a great deal of professionalism, um, how to um, to speak um, on radio uh, and how to smile on radio. Um, and uh, because I you think, can't, it is important yeah, to smile on radio. It is. Um, it is. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I'll be no, doing go right a, ahead. Mm -hmm. a course sometime soon launching it. And one of the tips I have when um, teaching how to have your own radio show is the smile Yeah, because people can hear that smile Absolutely. in your internet into uh, what's the word? Um, like in the a, tone of your yeah, voice. The There's another word. Enunciation. Enunciation. And so Thank yeah. You. yeah. So mm -hmm. it, exactly. Yeah. Smile on radio. Yeah. It is a thing. Yep. So I, so in that respect, I have learned a great deal uh, because you never know what your face looks like until you sit in the mirror and as you're speaking on live radio and then you like, hey, I wasn't smiling the whole time, you know. Yeah. And uh, so I want people to, to feel uh, what we're what we're saying, right. uh, enjoy what we're saying. Uh, so that's one of the aspects. I mean, there are I mean, I, can, I have a slew of <laughs> whole slew of things that I can go over that I've learned and uh, and great friends friendships and relationships mm -hmm. that i've had over the years uh just incredible people love working with them and uh Crawford broadcasting is such a blessing all you know if 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 anything if you don't like um uh, donate or or give a, a gift or uh, something to Crawford broadcasting give a give the gift of prayer yes uh, please. pray for Crawford broadcasting yeah. because they, you know uh, a christian um radio station is truly on the front lines, yes. you know, competing mm -hmm. with all the other craziness that's out there. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, spend, spend a little, about four or five minutes praying for Crawford Broadcasting, the, yeah. the, the, the entire, uh, you know, spiel of people, I shouldn't say spiel, yeah. a group of people, yeah. that's what I was trying to say, <laughs> uh, uh, there, pray for them and uh, pray for us yes. as we also can pray for you uh, because we are a community, we are a family, we mm -hmm. are a team. Um, with the same purpose and the same goal. So right. I've learned a lot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and something, you know, we discussed earlier is taking for granted living here in the United States and the freedoms that we have, freedom yeah. to practice religion, you know, and, and there is a battle, yeah. you know, and we see this when we watch the news. Um, but then just the opportunity too, that we could be driving down the road yeah. and we can tune into an AM station mm -hmm. and the AM station is, uh, an, you know, free, in this country right now yeah. to um, share their belief of faith yeah. and politics. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, I think it saddens me that we've been so 
complacent mm -hmm. um, about these freedoms that we don't realize that not everywhere in the world can somebody tune into an AM station yeah. and hear the the topics and yeah. the discussions that we can have at Crop Crawford Media Group. Absolutely. So um, yes, prayer is huge mm -hmm. and to pray for the leadership of Crawford Media Group um, and Mike Treem who manages um, stations here in Denver and yeah. California. Yeah. Um, please, please, please be praying for Absolutely. us for sure. You know, yeah. and one's another good friend. Then you know, there's there's uh, Charlie, mm -hmm. uh, one of the, Charlie Grimes. Yeah, he Charlie, does Charlie's the, such, a, such a great guy. I love Charlie. I love I, Charlie. He's helping me a lot to learn different things. Yeah. He's the next gen pro, and so yeah. I'm like Charlie. Will you help? And he's always so happy to help yeah. me. And Charlie um, comes from the Rush to Reason. Uh, John Rush and John Rush is a really good friend of ours and yeah. love John. John has John is one of those shows that's yeah. kind of that's certainly on the front line. Yeah, talking about a range of topics and uh, certainly political. And yes. uh, and I even hear these guys talk about a little NFL every now and then. I tune in. I hear everything. And that, that's with his son. Yeah, and that's John KLZ and AM five sixty. Yeah. We're gonna take a break real quick. We're gonna do our little break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Here's Steve Russo with real answers. When was the last time someone encouraged and inspired you? Our culture has become so critical and negative. Social media feeds this frenzy. Many don't feel like they belong or have a purpose. No wonder calls to helplines have increased dramatically. Deep down, most of us want to be lifted up in a positive way. Emotional support has the power to motivate us to change. So what's it mean to encourage and how do we live it out? Speak words of affirmation to others about their strengths. You can also speak affirming words to yourself by quoting biblical truth like, I'm a unique creation of God. Let others know you believe in them. First Thessalonians says, so encourage each other and build each other up, just as you were already doing. For information on books and other resources by Steve Russo, visit the Real Answers website, realanswers.com. And now... Stand on the Word with Tony Perkins. Our word for today comes from Philippians chapter 4. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So how can we have peace when it appears the world is spinning out of control? Well, look at verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So the question is, what are you watching? What are you meditating or thinking about? If you're being inundated with negative news, news from a humanist worldview, the legacy media, guess what? You're going to be anxious. We're not to bury our heads in the sand, rather we're to confront the challenges by going to God in prayer with a thankful heart. And welcome back to the Corner Cafe. Woohoo! And we are at a cafe. This yes, is the Corner are. Cafe. And we talked about our set last time. On, we did. Uh, so, but we're very thankful um, that we have a, a coffee shop. Yeah. We're sitting in a coffee shop. And what are you Real drinking, coffee. Jamie? I'm actually drinking coffee. Yeah. At the Corner Cafe. At the Corner Cafe. At cornercaferadio.com. Yes. And, um, we do have <laughs> I love these. our little coasters these. here. So um, go to our website, cornercaferadio.com, mm -hmm. listeners, and you can check out our videos if you're listening um, on the radio. Mm -hmm. And you can also um, there get links to our YouTube, our Rumble, and also uh, we are... Um, also, we have tons of podcasts. So yeah. um, pretty much all the streaming podcasts we're on. I still have to sign up for a couple more this year. And I love like this, Apple little, podcasts. this little QR code on the back. Yeah. I love that. So, this little QR code on the back there. So for the mm -hmm. listeners, um, just so you know, I'm a missionary underneath. I work at Crawford Media Group, mm -hmm. but I'm a missionary underneath um, Urban Sky. And so you can support the work we yeah. do. Yeah. Um, Great work, yeah. Uh, as being a missionary. So Urban mm -hmm. Sky kind of um, launches missionaries to do mm -hmm. their thing, either if you work in radio. A lot of people underneath the Urban Sky banner yeah. are doing amazing things. One lady um, goes into prisons. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just, it's a great organization. I'm trying to get Jamie to be part of Urban Sky and be praying about that. So I'll be praying about that too. <laughs> 
yeah. Urban Sky is amazing. So, <laughs> and I'm going to have a future show talking yeah. talk about the leadership of Urban Sky too. So, yeah, stay um, tuned for that. That's what yes. Be great. So we have a lot of great ideas oh, in the yeah. new year oh, and yeah. um, a lot of great topics um, mm -hmm. that we're going to be talking about. Um, Jamie, so you know, pretty soon here we got what about four more minutes or so. But mm -hmm. you've been in ministry a while. You know, for those of yeah. you who don't know, Jamie's an amazing artist, singer, songwriter, Thank you, Rachel, um, choreographer, dancer. I mean, entertainer to the max. <laughs> the first person that I've ever seen live be able to kick this mic around and not drop it. You <laughs> kick the mic around when you're dancing, yeah. and somehow you can also grab it. I don't know how you just do that. practice. That's all. That's right. <laughs> it's just like some little fun I like to do. Yeah. You know. Uh, but the but the focus, like you said, Rachel, is for with me is mainly ministry. Right. Is to minister to the people. I mean, we can, I can entertain it because it's fun, and then we can enjoy some you know some fun things to do. But uh, the the overall perspective is always you know John three sixteen is yeah. get as as many uh, to the, uh, that are lost back to Christ as possible or to Christ for the first time yeah. as possible. But uh, yeah, and, and as well as yourself, Rachel, uh, I know you were talking about one of your resolutions. And I'm going to put you on the spot here uh -oh. that you were talking about getting uh, back into more music. Yes. And I, I have been saying this to Rachel for yeah. some time. So this is nothing new, uh, our discussion. But yeah. uh, so. Yes, because this is one of those things where I do yeah. feel guilty because I'm like, what am I doing? I'm just sitting on this gift. <laughs> I'm guilt. Um, I make you feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you know, I know I need the push and yeah. um, I, I don't want to be in heaven and the Lord's yeah. like, hey, so you you had the gift to sing and write songs and what, mm -hmm. what happened? I'm like, well, I was really busy, <laughs> which is true. Um, but I, I'm going to start with... Um, 10 minutes per day. So I know yeah. this to be true and I've seen it to be true in other tasks. A lot of the times we have this great vision, you know, oh, I'm going to write a song and we right. can get to write a song in a night mm -hmm. versus saying, well, no, just space it out. Yeah. Like, 10 yeah. minutes a day, you know, because th what's the saying? Rome wasn't built in a day. It was right. built brick by brick. So if you mm -hmm. look at bricks as time increments, 10 minutes a day to do that thing, whatever that is, yeah, if it's exercising yeah. or reading a book or whatever, yeah. studying the Bible, mm -hmm. um, praying. Yeah, don't overwhelm yourself with yeah. trying to do too much right. at once. You can break it off into yeah, easy bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Because I, you get too busy, do too much, and then you've checked everything off the list, but there is no real fruit involved. And right. so you want to you want to have you know, good, healthy fruit. Right. You know, you don't want to wait for it, for it to fall on the ground and be like, hey, is that still fruit though? <laughs> yeah. It's mostly rotten, but. Yeah, because you, you uh, would bite too fast right. or, or whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And, you know, a lot of us don't do our, our resolutions, our goals, because we make it too yeah. hard on ourselves. We need yeah. to be kind to ourselves, you know. So yeah. um, that's our tip for, for you guys, you listeners, yeah. is be kind to yourself. Um, but definitely be praying and asking the Lord what it is and the tasks that he has you to do this new year. And we're just looking forward to being Corner Cafe the mm -hmm. new year on um, uh, KLTT and KLDC. Go to our website, cornercaferadio.com, and we're going to see you next, next week. weekend. And uh, next week as well, we are on Tuesdays. So thanks for tuning in. We'll uh, see you soon. This is forever. Oh